Hi everyone, I'm just going to do one last video to show some streaming tech. Um, I've been working on my background streaming of game assets um, and I've made significant improvements. Um, so what I've done is I've just created a simple scene. Now this scene is using a bunch of free assets from CG Trader um, and they're all PBR. So everything you see here has a diffuse or albedo and a normal and a metallic. So every object has three textures and as a rule they're easy of 2 or 4k so what I'm going to do is just run this simple scene just now now this is using the previous version of my background streaming tech that I've built so you'll see it coming in at the top and you can see there um, at the moment we're using about 800 meg it's streaming in about 458 images and you can see that's taking quite a while there actually now it's getting to all the 4k images here so it's starting to stream them in um, hopefully the quality is good enough that you can see some of the the images popping up in better quality. Uh, walk over to this <coughs> chest of drawers here, um, and once its texture streams in, there we go. You see its quality getting a bit better there, but it's still taking a very long time to stream all these textures in. It's still got about 50 left to go. It's taking a really long time. Now I've obviously made this scene to be as demanding as I can. I've added particles and lights and as I say all the objects have lovely big 4k textures or 2k textures. Slowly but surely getting there. It's just streaming in the last of them. Obviously this is a far more complicated scene than you'd ever try to create with AGK in terms of the assets and textures. So there we go. It's all finished since using three and a half thousand uh, let's find a couple more to do. 3612 megabytes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk far enough away that most of these assets drop out. So my 3612 mem megabyte memory is going to start massively dropping down as I get far enough away that it drops out the high quality textures. So 1247 megabytes. <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run as fast as my online game character can and you'll start to see as I get close again it will pick up all those high quality textures and it'll start streaming them in so yeah, it's got about 60 textures there but you can see again very slow far too slow um, to actually get even close to streaming in the scene as quickly as we're able to run up to it and this will result in horrific texture pop up and um, you can see it's all blurry again on that chest of drawers you can see a few of the other objects in the background popping in their higher quality textures as I move about. So very, very slow. <coughs> so I'm just going to cut out that. And now I'm going to switch on to method two. Now this is the one that I've just finished today. This uses a completely different method of loading things in and is much faster with practically no additional performance hit and there's some tweaking and optimizing I can yet do to this. Um, but I'm going to start the exact same scene. Now what I'll point out is that this optimization is only in objects, it is not on landscape textures. But I think you'll see if I start the exact same scene, um, a significant improvement. Now this time, by the time my character even hits the ground, almost all those high quality textures are streamed in. And actually what it's finalising is just the landscape. And there we have it. That entire scene is now prepared. All 3600 meg. And just to do an additional test though, I'm going to run away fast as I can. And I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to let all of those textures drop back out of memory. And here we go, it's dropping down, dropping down. That's me back down to one, 1 1.2 gig. So all those high quality textures in that scene are away. Now remember the last time I ran up to that as fast as my character could and it didn't even get close. It still had about 54, I think 54, 52 images left to stream by the time I got there. So now I'm just going to do the exact same again. And there we go, the entire scene is now restreamed. 3613 meg of graphics memory used. And I did not get close enough to see any pop up whatsoever. Now, I haven't built this world to be um, expansive enough to have two complicated areas um, to run between. But all these memory, uh, all these images will just drop in and out of memory. Uh, so if there was another more complicated scene here, 
and then those textures would simply stream in as the other ones are dropping out. So you can see there it's dropping down. If I turn around and start going back, all those textures come straight in again. And you can see how quickly it fills up 3600 megabytes. So that's it. The final, almost final background image streaming tech. AGK, and again, this is 100% tier one. This didn't actually even use any C code. This is 100% AGK tier one.